Hi, Poo Poo's. Nest Poo Queen of Cups. Sarah, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's tribe. So, this is going to be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, then you can always book a personal reading with me. Take what's for you. Get the rest of you. Check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So, Spirit, what's going on for Aries for love? What messages do you have for Aries? Somebody trying to manifest either you, something suddenly changing. What is it? What's suddenly changing with you and somebody? So I just heard concern. Somebody could be watching you like online while you having a good time. And that could be concerning to somebody. Yeah. Feminine energy. Soulmate. Somebody feel like you're their soulmate, but you detach from this person. And when you guys detached, it fucked this person's head up. Now this person is being more in their feminine energy now. Somebody realized after somebody was released that they made a bad decision. Third eye chakra. Love could be a Gemini. Somebody's realizing that they love you now. Opportunity beckons. Could be a Leo. Control. Swords, helpless and hopeless, flow, rest and reconsider. Yes, it broke somebody's heart to see you move on and detach from them. Now they want to put in the work. break from this person that didn't want to heal things after you put your guard up and start protecting yourself from this person could be an Aquarius yeah ace of cups they want to give you that love and give you that equal give and take this person definitely want to see a victory with you but they want your attention queen of wands they want to take some type of action because they love you. Could have had a family with this person. Could be a cancer. Yeah, this person wants to go forward with some type of either moving in or some type of uh, solid foundation now. They want to actually give to this because they realize that they made a bad decision. They could even be talking about marriage. Or this could be you could be a Sagittarius temperance this person in the ten of wands this person realized that it I'm not gonna lie this person trying to be patient to go come towards you but it's it's weighing on them like they have to they feel like they have to do it now so they're trying to manifest you They realize how much they they miss you they want to give you some type of apology but this person was deceptive this person was lying it was a third party involved but they realized that that third party wasn't worth it and now they want to put the work in towards you <sighs> yeah 
magician. King of Swords. Three of Swords. You got detached from this person and it hurt them. Some of y'all went totally cold after you found out about the third party. So let's let's see something that they want to say toxic. Let's see something that they want to say to you that they're not saying to you. I'm all yours. This person could have let this third party go. Oh my god, <laughs> I just heard the song. Well, I don't know if it's a song. Say something, I'm giving up on you. That's what I've just heard. So that could be you telling this person that you might possibly want this person back. No more games. Yeah. Could be a Leo. Could be a Sag. Could be another Aries. Leave dude for me. Yeah, third party. And I'm in love with you. I'm getting my shit together at the bottom of the deck. I belong to somebody else. Long term. Could be a Cancer. Waterfall. This person want to make up with makeup sex. No more lies. And I can't be serious right now. So this person's conflicted because they don't know what the fuck they want. But all messages is not for everybody. Free yourself. You let this person go. You might continue to stay away from this person. True love, but somebody feels like they're somebody, somebody true love. I just heard, even though I don't want to, so somebody still may, may, may be making the choice to let go because they feel like it's unrequited. Yeah, wedding. I told you somebody could be talking about marriage now. So let me give you your advice. What advice do you have for Aries? A new romantic cycle begins. Your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn and nothing will come of this situation. The luck is on your side. You guys are moving on. Y'all moving on and y'all know that. Well, this is all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Oh, excuse me. Other than that, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.